What's up? It's iRocker77. It's Bennett. And this video is going to be titled, The World Outside of Apple. Now, what I mean by the world outside of Apple is I'm talking about everything outside of the iPhone, the Mac operating system, you know, the iPod Touch, the iPod in general. Because it seems that nowadays all kinds of technology the reviews for applications, reviews for protection solutions for Apple products, Apple operating system tutorials, everything seems to be caving into Apple. Now, with E3 just ending, which I'm going to talk about in just a minute, and WWDC Worldwide Developers Conference just around the corner, literally in five days, today is June 3rd, Worldwide Developers Conference will be held from the 8th to the 12th. I wanted to talk a little bit about the world outside of Apple. Now, the first big thing is E3. E3, there were a lot of announcements, such as Project Natal for the Xbox 360, which will allow full body motion for the controls of the games, the PSP Go, which is a slimmer, slider-style PSP, which I'm very much looking forward to. I'll get to that in a minute as well. And also some enhancements to the motion system on the Nintendo Wii as well. So there are a lot of products out there. Obviously, a lot of people know, okay, there are products outside of Apple, but what I'm saying is I'm talking more about the things that people don't really know. See, I have my Nintendo DSi here, all right? And the thing is, is that this product, I don't use it that much. I really don't. I use my iPhone so much more for gaming everything else. And it's because of the way that Apple presents things that they're able to kind of take the lead in you know the music market and I'd almost say as far as mobile gaming goes you know they're they're pretty high up there now what a lot of people don't look at is they're looking at the sales of the iPhone and the iPod touch versus the sales of the Nintendo DSi and Nintendo DS and PSP and then they're comparing that to the Apple platform when really it's how many applications are sold versus how many UMDs or little these things are sold. Alright? Now, mainly I'm talking about the gaming platform here, but I'm also going to get to computers in a minute. Because I personally think that the Windows operating system is, no, it does not stack up to the Mac operating system for several reasons, but wh what you have to look at is the e the differences, because a lot of times what I see on YouTube is people comparing things to Apple products that can't be compared. Apple is supposed to be this modern style and ease of use technology, when really people are comparing it to types of Windows operating systems, certain computers, all kinds of things that can be used for other things like business. And I'm not saying that the Mac operating system can't be used for business, but what I'm saying is you can't compare, just like I would not compare a calculator to a calendar, a, a digital calculator to a digital calendar, because they're both digital products and they both function two ways, but they're made for entirely different purposes. They're supposed to do entirely different things. And in my point of view, the Mac operating system is supposed to do something totally different than what the Windows operating system is supposed to do. As far as WWDC, that's really for developers and software, which means that I don't think that we're going to see a whole lot at WWDC having to do with hardware. One thing that's, uh, the main thing that's been very speculated, the only thing that's really been speculated, honestly, is the new iPhone, the iPhone Pro or the iPhone 4G, whatever we're going to call it. That's really the only hardware that people are talking about. You know, nobody's really talking about any kind of gaming system, portable gaming system that would be, be made especially for applications. 
which debatably is the iPod Touch, but leave your comment below. Tell me what you think. You know, the other th the one other thing that they were talking about was the Mac MacBook Mini. You know, guys, the point that I'm trying to make in this video is that there is some technology out there besides Apple, and it's not like I'm trying to tell you people that. It's not like I'm saying, you know, there's a, get it in your head that Apple's not the only carrier of technology, technological products out there. That's not what I'm saying because I know you people know that, but what I'm saying is is that you might want to take a look if you're trying to purchase you know, a, a software and you have a Windows computer and a Mac computer but you only want to do one or if you're trying to make the decision between you know the new Zune HD that everyone's talking about or the iPod Touch there are some things to look at and in the end it does have a lot to do with personal preference and a lot of people that you look at YouTube do prefer the Apple platform for everything and all I'm saying is go out there and look at some of the other things because guys technology is a great part of my life and it will continue to be I in the future plan to be very much an Apple person maybe not an Apple fanboy but an Apple user a Mac user an iPhone user an iPod user because that's the way I like things done but there are some people out there that make a good argument now honestly if you want the truth Windows themselves they don't make a good argument against Mac because they're all cocky about it and they're kind of stupid about it if you saw that thing going around not cool enough to be a Mac person my point is look around listen to opinions and give yours because your opinion does matter and Apple is not the only thing out there